Welcome back, friends. We are glad to see you again this week. This week, our friends are going to tell us the story of the tax collector and the Pharisee. In this story, we're going to hear about how God wants us to humble ourselves before him, that all things come from him, including our salvation. God tells us in the Bible about being humble. In the book of James, chapter 4, we hear how God wants us to behave. He says, humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Being humble can be a difficult thing. It's not simply something we can do, but requires us to know we need God in our lives and to recognize how to be humble before him. We must submit to his will for our lives. Join me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, help us to be humble before you and others so that we may submit to your will. Forgive us our sin as we know that we need your grace each and every day. Bless us this week and allow us to serve you and walk humbly with you each and every day. Amen. Okay, kids, today we're going to tell you another story. What story is it this time? A story in the Bible called The Pharisee and Tax Collector. Jesus told this story himself. Right, cool. Okay, it starts like this. To some who were confident of their own righteousness and looked down on everyone else, Jesus told this parable. Two men went up to the temple to pray. One a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, robbers, evildoers, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give a tenth of all I get. But the tax collector stood at a distance. He would not even look up to heaven, but beat his breast and said, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I tell you that this man, rather than the other, went home justified before God. For all those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. I want to pray like the tax collector, because he prayed for forgiveness. Yes, we should pray for forgiveness, not praying that we are better than other people. Why don't we pray right now? Okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for everything you do in our lives. Please forgive me and all of all my sins. Amen. Now I think it's time for you two to go to bed. Night, Mommy. Thanks for joining us this week for our story. I hope that you were able to learn more about being humble before God and what it takes to walk steadily with him in his will. We look forward to seeing you again later. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching all of our devotions that we loved creating for you the past few weeks. We hope you learn more about Jesus and how we should be living our lives as Christians. We hope you have a great day. Bye! Bye.